with the exception of the Europeans, automakers have yet to bring sporty wagons to the US. In what might seem like an odd choice, Buick is rolling out one of these elusive vehicles, the Regal Tourx Wagon, on our shores. But if you look at Buick's lineup, perhaps it's not so strange given the brand has introduced other niche products in the recent past. The Cascada convertible is far from a runaway sales success, with numbers down almost 22% last year compared to 2016, but it has served as a product that conquests customers from other brands. Meanwhile, the Encore helped start the subcompact crossover craze and has become the brand's best-selling model. Buick might be taking another gamble with the Regal Tourx, but it's likely a good one. The Sportback was the first vehicle in the new Regal lineup to reach the US, and the Tourx is coming to dealerships now. Buick originally anticipated a 70-30 sales split in favor of the Sportback, according to Buick marketing boss Philip Brook. Now, given the interest it has encountered from dealers, press, customers, and others, Buick is starting to think the Tourx could take 50% of the pie. Not bad for just a wagon. In addition to riding about an inch higher, the Tourx is 3.4 inches longer than the Sportback and has 12.8 cubic feet more cargo space with the rear seats folded. Unlike the Sportback, the Tourx doesn't offer front-wheel drive, and the sole option is an active twin-clutch all-wheel drive system. Under the hood sits a 2.0-liter turbo 4 featuring 250 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque, the same output as the all-wheel drive sport back. We drove the 2018 Regal Torx through Sedona, Arizona, best known for its stunning red rock formations. As we made our way into the city, we received a few looks driving in a convoy of Buick wagons, all of which were covered in red dirt from a day of off-roading. Off-roading in a Buick? I imagine that's what they were thinking. because that's honestly what I was thinking. Passing by Jeeps and other stalwart SUVs, we traversed off the beaten path between 20 and 35 miles per hour. This was no serious off-roading, but the experience revealed that the Regal Torx can tackle dirt roads with lots of loose rocks of various sizes, You can feel it as you make your way over them, particularly in the rear of the vehicle. But the car proved as controlled as it did on the street. Buick engineered the Regal Torx to drive like the all-wheel drive spart back, and that's pretty much what it accomplished. The result is confident handling, better than what you might expect from a wagon of this size. It boxed the stereotype that these vehicles should feel detached from the road. The car moves predictably with each turn of the steering wheel, much like the all-wheel drive sport back. The A-speed transmission felt smooth and hit the right notes, there was never a clunky moment. 
you won't be blown away with the Torx's acceleration, but the juice proved just enough for highway merging. Regal Torx models have new quiet tuning tires with extra insulation to reduce road noise. Unfortunately, our early production test models weren't equipped with this technology. But even without the quiet tires, the car manages to keep road noise to a minimum, and when noise was particularly low. Buyers will find plenty of luxury wagons on the market, including the Audi A4 Allroad, BMW 3 Series, Mercedes-Benz E-Class, and Volvo V60 and V90. But the Torx occupies an interesting space just above the four-cylinder Subaru Outback 2.5i models and Volkswagen Golf Alltrack. The Buick starts at $29,995, and standard features include OnStar 4G LTE Wi-Fi, push-button start and keyless entry, a 7.0-inch touchscreen, and cloth seats. Missing from the list is dual-zone automatic climate control, which comes standard only on the top model. Next up is the preferred, which begins at $33,595 and adds an auto-dimming inside rear-view mirror, increased seat adjustability, and a few other standard features. The model we tested was the top-level essence, priced from $35,995. Here you'll find an upgraded 8.0-inch touchscreen, heated leather-appointed front seats, a heated steering wheel, ambient interior lighting, 40-20-40 tri-folding rear seats. And a hands-free liftgate that projects an image of the Buick logo behind the vehicle to help you know where to kick your foot to release the trunk. Prices can slowly start to add up once you put in more options. The model we drove rang out to $41,600 because it was equipped with a premium audio system, HD radio, a navigation bundle and two driver assistance packages. The first. Available on preferred or essence, and features such as LED headlights, rear park assist, rear cross traffic alert, and lane change alert with side blind zone alert. The second, available only on the essence, includes the most useful features such as forward automatic braking, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, and front pedestrian braking. Inside the cabin, you'll find comfortable seats but little in the way of eye candy. As we noted with the regular sportback, there's really nothing inside the cabin that makes drivers feel like they're in for a treat. Unique tidbits such as the touch climate controls of the previous Regal are not present in this vehicle. Instead, there are some hard plastics and shiny wood accents. The interior doesn't quite match the exterior's scintillating personality, but it's highly practical and can fit luggage for the whole family without even having to fold down the seats. No one expects wagons to overthrow crossovers as a vehicle of choice in today's market. But could this be the silent era of the wagon? Although there aren't as many of them on the market as their higher riding counterparts, more are coming to market in the US, and now they're offering performance that can rival sedans.
The Buick Regal Tourx boasts athleticism and practicality, making it a refreshing addition to the brand's lineup.